clips. There he is, right here. How are you, partner? My man, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Man, listen, you all keep winning. I'm fine. You ain't got to worry about me at all. <laughs> me too. And on a payday, too? Come on. <laughs> Tell me this, and I asked Tyler this. What is it about the way you guys are playing defense now that allows you to be in a position? The Dallas game wasn't a wash. You guys had times in that game mm -hmm. where you played the defense you like. Uh, but this game, it seemed like you just had it throughout the contest. What's the difference with the way you're playing now? Well, we were really locked in tonight. You know, we had a bad taste in our mouth with the Dallas game. You know, we, we realized that, uh, you know, we could have been better in a lot of areas, uh, and, we, and we dropped that one. So, you know, we wanted to come in tonight and uh, make sure we gave our entire effort and energy on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, and, and we knew that after this game, we didn't want to have that same taste. I'll give uh, Philly credit for the third quarter. That's it. That's all I give credit for right there tonight. But that is a tough team. Uh, that's yeah. your town. Uh, you know how the folks are, and they kind of reflect the Philly fan in many ways, even though the winning isn't coming. Right. That's a team, that's, now that you've seen them four times this season, yeah. that plays extremely hard. That's the word that continues, that continues to come up when we hear about the Philadelphia 76ers. They do, man. You to give them credit. Uh, you know, they play extremely hard, you know, and they don't stop. And they get down. You know, no matter what, whether it's 15 or 20 or 25 points, they're going to continue to play hard and continue to come at you. Uh, obviously, they've had a lot of unfortunate situations and injuries this season, but uh, they beat us twice, man. They, they give us a, you know, a run for our money every time we're out there. You guys have only had uh, three losses here over the last little bit, and they're all from teams that are a little bit further down in, in the win column. That tells you a lot about how hard it is to win and how anybody can win, mm -hmm. but how have those losses impacted you all in the way that you're approaching your business going forward? Uh, well, those losses, you know, we use them as uh, teaching tools. You know, we come in, we watch the film, we learn from it, uh, we practice, you know, we'll drill some things that we didn't do as well, and then uh, we'll move on and, and try to continue to get better. And uh, I think that's what we did all season long, and it's paid off for us now. So uh, even still, man, you know, those, those, those three losses that we had, we continue to learn from them, you know, and everybody's on the same page. Everybody uh, wants to continue to get better, and, I, and that's what I love about it. You talk about everybody being on the same page, and then there's proof seemingly every single night, because you could have one night it's Gorn leading the way, mm -hmm. scoring, or Hassan, or Dion, or then it's Tyler sometimes off the bench. You've mm -hmm. had one of those nights. Uh, what is it about the way that you guys are going about your offense that's led to this? Selfless. Mm. We're being selfless. Uh, you know, it's team basketball. It's Miami Heat basketball. Uh, like you said, every night it can be somebody different, and everybody's okay with that. Uh, a lot of teams, that, you know, it's not okay. You know, yeah. guys want to be that guy every night. So, like you said, man, tonight Tyler. Uh, you know, the next night, Gorn. It could be Hassan. Uh, you know, JJ. Right. Uh, we got a lot of weapons, and we've been saying that from the beginning. So. Uh, we realize that we have those weapons, and we realize that it can be somebody different, and we're okay with that. At the corner of my eye, I saw one of Luke's launches from three. I mean, before it was off his fingertips, you already got your three <laughs> up. Guys are high-fiving. You have totally bought in, and you're one of the guys who had to buy in rather quickly because you just got here mm -hmm. back at, uh, we were in the Bahamas, about uh, Coach Bolster's mantra of sharing in each other's success. Why does it seem so easy for you guys? You've been on a lot of different teams, yeah. and I don't know if you've experienced this uh, or not, but but it's 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 contagious mm -hmm. and I think unique because it's so consistent right. every single night for you. Right. Well, Spo, man, he he's done a, such an amazing job with us and continue to preach habits and details and uh, sharing the basketball and team basketball, Miami Heat basketball, and and, and that's what we you know we've been hearing since training camp. Right. So you know uh, you know it's it's registered to us and. Um, you know, obviously, we, we, we enjoy each other's success, and that's what it's about, man. And that's why I think, you know, we're on this track that we're on, because we continue to enjoy each other, and like I keep saying, we're, self we're selfless. What happened in the second half? All of a sudden, that basketball found you, <laughs> and then you were you were ripping the net. A lot of it in the fourth quarter, man. Yeah, man. Well, I, I was I was feeling really good tonight from the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the ball just found me a little bit more, and credit to my teammates, man. Those guys got me open. Uh, you know, Roe was doing a great job setting screens. JJ, guys, I was in there with. They did a great job of setting screens, and then you got you know uh, Jay Rich and Tyler. They're really they're really looking for me coming off those screens. So uh, they got me open, and I was able to get some open ones tonight and knock them in. Six of nine. For 18 <laughs> points. Partner, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. you coming back. Thank Congratulations. You I'm, always, I'm always wanting to come to the studio. My man, listen. <laughs> you just come on every night. Let's just sit here and talk basketball. We can do it.